Money loves people who produce value. Does money love you? I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and personal branding strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you discover your brand story and transform it, uh, transform your expertise and life experience into a brand story that sells. So today, someone in my group um, wanted to learn or uh, see if I had information about creating a prosperous mind or mindset, she called it. So I wanted to address this whole subject about money because obviously, you know, uh, that's why you have a business so that you can make money. And there's definitely uh, a lot of different ways of thinking about money. And many people deal with it in a different way. Now, you know, I always say there are two types of businesses. There are those businesses that are just typical businesses. You know, they aren't really based on your life. They're just uh, service type businesses like restaurants and, uh, you know, you sell a product. And then there are those uh, uh, more um, service life type of businesses like coaching and um, things that are, are based off of your own expertise. And so how you approach um, your business and the thoughts in your head uh, become the money or that you make or the money that you don't make. And this is definitely um, something that all new entrepreneurs have to go through. It's a process. And even if you've been in business for a while, you know, the, the, um, I'm sure that you've heard of uh, this energy of money. So, you know, I titled this the not so woo woo energy of the money mind because I'm just, I'm not so woo woo. You know, uh, for 25 years, I was a shopping center and retail marketing director. So I, in actuality, uh, never had uh, heard of, um, you know, focusing on energy. Like I was focused on doing things and, and having a job and, and creating and doing tasks and, um, you know, strategies and different things for making money and helping the businesses that I worked with uh, make their money. Then when I, I entered the online world, um, I know a lot of people talk about developing a money mindset. And I believe that um, the, the slightest bit of uh, difference in the way that you think about money could make a huge difference in the actual amount of money that you make. Because, uh, hi Ariel, because money, you know, uh, in actuality, so when I hired my first coach, she told me about um, that money is an energy. And I'm like, you know, I'm not so woo woo, so how is, how is money an energy? I like, you know, I need it in my bank account. And, you know, she, uh, she sent me this um, affirmation thing and, you know, things to reprogram my mind. And, uh, and I also had a, a, met a new friend uh, that was an online entrepreneur and she was like, you must have money blocks. You know, she wasn't making money um, either. And she was like, you, you must have money blocks. So I started diving into this whole thing about, you know, the energy of money and, you know, having money blocks and, you know, uh, the book, um, uh, Get rich, lucky bitch or something, uh, you know, you, you have to like focus on every penny you see and then pick it up and realize that that's money. So I spent like about two weeks um, looking for pennies and thinking of other ways to earn money. Then I finally woke up and I'm like, what the hell? I still don't have money. And now I'm focused, instead of on my business, I'm focused on uh, finding pennies on the street. <laughs> Do you see? Uh, so, you know, because I'm not so woo, none of that really made sense until I started to realize that what everyone is talking about, this energy of money, in actuality, you know, that's what people talk about when they talk about mindset, except it's not just about saying, I want money, I want money, I want money. I'm sure if you've heard um, successful entrepreneurs talk, they talk about how when they focus on money, they actually don't either earn as much or they, they don't earn money. Because no one is going to pay you to earn money. I know, it's kind of a, a shocker. Uh, I need to make money. No one's gonna pay you for that. 
And so in actuality, you know, this energy of money is actually, uh, money is a reflection of the confidence that you have in yourself. The confidence, not just in, I'm great, but the confidence in the value that you are, in the value that has been made up from your life experience. So this is a very, very, um, you know, I, 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 I want you to really think about, you know, when you think about the value of your life experience, this means, you know, owning your past. And if you're, if you're human, you know, you have a past. You've made mistakes, you know, you had a bad childhood, you know, you, uh, people did wrong to you. Um, uh, oh, Ariel, you, you know, things, things bad happen. And over time, you know, you become the total of your life experience. And that means that, uh, you know, what, as we, each time we have like a life experience or a failure, then we react in a certain way. And then, uh, why we, when we react, people act a certain way towards us. And then suddenly with subconsciously, you're not realizing it, but then you're starting to, uh, form the idea that you think of yourself. And over time, you know, however old you are, I'm 48. So, you know, over time, all these layers add up and those layers become who you think you are today in your business. It becomes the confidence or lack thereof that you have of that life that you've lived. And then it results in the actions you take, the things that you do, the ownership that you have on the value that you place on what you do. So I'm not talking about the price that you price things. I'm talking about your ownership and the value of what you sell. So, you know, this is about positioning. Positioning your business based on your greatest strengths can be very scary because suddenly now you're saying, people are going to judge me and give me money for things that I've learned through these very hard lessons of my life. And it's only when you can say, wow, you know, the times that I failed taught me these powerful lessons, you know, whatever it is, like a health condition, uh, you know, uh, I've had clients who had very bad childhoods, you know, very bad parents who did terrible things to them. And because of that, it wasn't the terrible things that made them who they are. It's that they took charge of their life and overcame them. And how they took charge of their life, that's the value. That then when you position it in your business, you don't have to teach it, but you, you position that value in the value that's inside of you. Then you go and you you do the things that you need to do in order to sell it. That's called owning your value. And when you do that, that's called owning your confidence. And you know, nothing sounds like conviction. And are you always going to be successful? No. And so this is a very important thing to remember. The energy of the money mind is about loving the process so much of marketing and selling and getting your information out there because you own what it is that you are selling. You own the value inside of you and you want to share it with other people. And it's when you realize the gifts that you have that you suddenly want to share it with as many people as possible, that you keep running into the walls until you find the door. So, you know, I see a lot of people trying to, um, you know, I can't seem to get people to buy what I have. 
So you like lower the price or, you know, I'm going to offer this for free and I'm going to do this. You, you don't need to change your act. You need to change your audience. You need to change the confidence that you have and the ownership you have. So let's just say you had a job and you started your job as a, uh, as a janitor. Over time, you start to realize that people treat you like a janitor. And so, you know, um, maybe you lose your job and the next job you go for probably would be like that of a janitor until you decide, you know what? I know something about, uh, uh, let's say, accounting. So I'm going to try for a job as a bookkeeper. And you go, and you probably aren't going to be successful the first couple times. But you, but you start to realize, wow, I'm really good at this whole money thing. And you start to learn strategies that you can sell. That, that, and then you start to go, and you start to help people. And you go, wow, I can really help people. And you find so much adventure and enjoyment in the process of learning and developing yourself. So we're not even focusing on money. You know, you're owning your value and you realize how much it helps others. Then people will be wanting to pay you money. We don't even have to think about money because you have the goal that you want to like make money with it. Then you stop thinking about it. You, you start focusing on the process because when you love the process so much and you love the people that you do it for, then it becomes a game. That's called the energy of the money mind. You know, that's what uh, the energy of money is. It's about the reflection of the confidence that you have in yourself, the ownership of your life, the realization that this one life that you have has a greater purpose than just you know, earning a piece of paper that you can burn. It's not about the trip to Paris that you're going to take. It's about the experience that you're getting from making that money. You know, this is, this is such, uh, you know, uh, I, 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 if you didn't watch my video from yesterday, I think you should watch that, the de devaluing of free. Because I talked about this and I talked about it very briefly. Sorry. But um, uh, there is one thing, there's one thing that all humans want the most. And it's a subconscious internal thing. And why everybody, you know, is living this life thinking of that one big question. It's not how can I make money? It's why am I here? Everybody, every human, they've done studies, you know, of people that are just about to die. And it's that one thing that people want more than anything in the world. And it's to find why you are here, your purpose. And I know that sounds really grand, you know, you know, you're doing what you are in your business. You're like, oh my God, I have to think about a purpose. Your purpose is actually not like some end thing. It's your every single day that you wake up and you can find the game, the experience, the fun, the lessons in the life that you, li that you live 24 seven. That's called when you can share that gift, the, the lessons, the joy, the happiness, the, all of that with somebody else and you realize, you understand what your greatest value is, that's the energy of the money mind. Because people will pay you for that. And then it becomes not about money, it becomes learning more about yourself so you can share more of it with others. Nobody's gonna pay you to make money. Money loves people that produce value. Money loves people that recognize their own value. So realize that every time you think that, you know, you're not making money or, oh my God, what's wrong with me? And you pull back, you're silently telling yourself, there's something wrong with me. There's not anything wrong with you. It's just that you haven't dug deeper. 
to what actually is really going on. What's actually going on is your life right now. You know, um, I, I heard this the other day and, and, and I, I believe this to be true. It's going to sound a little negative, but it's not. And I'll tell you in a second why it's not. Um, the guy said, uh, you know, um, people always say, like, look for the lessons, you know, look for the, the, the great things in the failure. And he said, uh, he said, you know what? Sometimes there are no great things. Sometimes life is unfair. And as I'm sitting in my bathroom with my health condition really being miserable, and I'm like, wow, that was really like, um, it, it really like woke me up because what I realized was he's right. All these times that people are like, look for the lesson, you know, be happy and don't worry. And you know, sometimes life is unfair. You know, sometimes, um, you know, you have bad, you have bad childhoods. Sometimes you get a bad health condition. Sometimes you get cancer. Sometimes people die in your life. And it's not fair. But when you can own it and understand that that's part of life, and if you look for the lesson, you know, always try to look for the lesson. If you can't find one, move on. You know, it's hard when a parent dies, someone you love dies, you get a terminal condition. It's really hard. But when you can get out of, uh, get, get through that, because there's no, the pain of losing somebody is like ridiculous. I mean, like you never get over it. It doesn't get better. I don't care what anyone says. But when you can think of it in a different way, so I was able to accept my mom's death by understanding that I was actually shaming her by living a life of depression. So you can find a new understanding of the painful things that aren't fair, then you can focus on your greater purpose, you know, how you can make your, the experience of every day better, how you can, you know, make life like a game. I heard Jerry Rice say this the other day, uh, or, or that Jerry Rice used to say this when he was uh, a wide receiver. Uh, he was like legendary and he said uh, every time I catch the ball I run for the end zone but what was interesting was that he didn't focus on the end zone he actually focused on the process of running so you know I'm sure that you've heard this story about uh, what's that guy the swimmer I can't think of his name uh, Olympic swimmer I don't know why I'm drawing a blank um, uh, Phillips, uh, whatever, someone Phillips. And he, uh, he, his coach would have him imagine the, um, what, what would happen if he got water in his goggles every time, like he would, uh, not catch his breath or, you know, that he would fail. And you know why he won so many Olympic medals? It's because he understood that success doesn't always happen. Good things don't always happen. He got water in his goggles at the Olympics. He knew exactly what to do because he had pictured it in his mind and he had made it a habit to focus on the process. So he had a story in his head of how it's supposed to go. So he recognized how it wasn't going and could quickly get back on course. The story in your head needs to be of your confidence, of your owning your value, of that end goal, and then you need to focus on the process, the wins, the losses, the fails, but you have the framework to work within. Instead of like landing on Facebook and becoming someone else's framework, in actuality, you're, you're running your own Olympic story <laughs> of your life. And every time it strays from that, you need to recognize it and quickly get back on course. That's called 24 hours in a day. 
So instead of getting involved in other people's stories on Facebook, thinking that, oh my God, I need to find clients and get visible on Facebook, you need to do your work and understand, you know, who your ideal clients are. What value do you have that you that you value that will help somebody else? And what ownership can you take of your own success? <laughs> Tony. <laughs> okay. So, you know, this is so important. It's getting dark and I've got to go before the homeless woman attacks me on my way home. But I really thought this was important. And, um, you know, this is, this is where I'm going to leave it is, you know, speak to people who are in a position of hiring you. Instead of dumbing down your work, dumbing down your value, dumbing down your prices because you can't own it. Find the value inside your own story. This is what I do in my business. Transfer your life experience and your expertise into a brand story. That's your framework. So that then you can focus on the process, the game. It's fun. Failure becomes just another way that it didn't work. I feel like Albert Einstein every day. <laughs> Wow, something just blew up in my face when I mentioned Donald Trump. I guess that didn't work. So then I go back. I don't know if you can tell, but I have so much fun in my marketing. <laughs> because that's what life is. It's not always pretty and it's not always fair. So make the most of your moments. Anyway, that's it. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and personal branding strategist at TotalGenius.net. You know, check out my webinar, Positioned. Uh, it's at positions.totalgenius.net. Come join me at the Genius Collective. I'm launching Master Your Money Code 3.0, where I'm going to teach conscious selling. It's, it's actually the next level. I invite everyone that's taken Master Your Money Code before to come take it again. This time, it's not free, uh, but it's going to be a very reasonable price because I understand that there are people that are getting ripped off out there and I don't want to see it anymore. So uh, we'll be launching that sign up this week. Have a great week, everyone, and have a great night. See you later.